Hello, this is Crispy from 52 Hide of 3D, back with part 4, or is it 5, of the Stargate tutorial. I think it's 4. Yeah, it says 4 up there. It's probably 4. Um, today we're going to be finally getting some nice materials on it, um, or at least building the material. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it onto the gate this time. Um, but first, I'll just give you a quick um, time lapse of how I did this. Um, glyph here. You see it's, um, yeah, I've only done one so far because they take quite a long time to do and I thought you'd probably want to get this tutorial as fast as possible, so I'll just show you that. Now you've seen that, let's um, get on with the material. Now I'll just get rid of that. Now I don't know if you're familiar with the cycles material system, but it's so much better than the old system and we're going to be using that. So let's just go on to a new layer and add in a plane that we're going to be using to test out the material. I'll just rename that test plane and let's swap this over to a node editor and if I switch this to render view see it's very quickly rendering that and let's add the Nacrida material currently there's not not much has changed, it's just a very boring flat plane. Now I'll just, is there a lamp on this? Um, so I'll just get this lamp so that it's on both layers. That's better, so we've got a bit of lighting. Okay, so do we have the nodes? Yeah, we've got the nodes here. And this is currently all there is to this material. So let's add in a mixed shader and a glossy shader. Let's do one here, glossy. And link those both in like that. And now we need a texture. We're going to use an image texture. And I'm going to open this from somewhere. This is a galvanized metal texture that I found on the internet somewhere. I can't remember where it is. But um, just find something that's similar to this and you'll be able to work it out. And pipe this into the diffuse color and also the glossy roughness. Is that working? No, I think you need to put it into the glossy color. And of course nothing's happening because we haven't UV unwrapped the object. So just go into edit mode and press U and click unwrap. And there we're getting a nicer looking texture. Let's put, just put that into the roughness again. Yeah, and that's quite nice. 
we also want to, I think, add in a bump map, just to give it a slight bit of roughness. So if we go to vector and add in a bump, we can type the image texture into the height, or is it the strength? I think it's the strength. Type it into the strength, the bump, and take the normal to the diffuse. Actually, maybe it is height. Yeah, that's better. And we can also do that to glossy. Uh, maybe we've overdone that a bit. Maybe put it to one. And maybe we've really overdone that. Maybe put it to 0 0.01. And that's a bit of a nicer texture there. Um, in fact, I don't think we want this on the glossy. We'll just cut that there. And so that's the material set up quite nicely. Um, we also, I think, want to pipe the colour into the mix shader, just to give it a little less glossiness, like that. Maybe that's even a bit still too much glossiness. So cut that, turn down the amount to 0.1, like that. And that's looking quite nice. Yeah, quite nice. So, now comes the hard bit. Actually getting this texture onto the main gate. This, with this uh, inner ring, it should be fairly easy. So let's add this to a, change this to a UV image editor. And we're just gonna add in a new, uh, not open, a new image. Let's call it UV unwrap and change the generation type to UV grid. Hit OK. And this is going to be fairly simple. We just select everything, press, press view and project from view bounce. And now if we go into render view, coming up as uh, the wrong colour because we uh, unwrapped it on that texture we're going to have to change it back to metal and we, so I think we have to leave this at metal as well so you see it's got a much nicer texture but it isn't um, as you can see it isn't the right size so what we're going to do here is shift cut all these like that so give it a nice link there add in a vector mapping node and also uh, no uh, yeah we didn't want that to be there we want that to be type in that Give me a second to work this out. That in there. No. Turn off render view. I can't do anything with this. All right. So vector goes into vector like that, and add in a image texture coordinate, and drop the UV into there. And this creates a nice node chain where we can uh, see what we're doing. So now, if we render this can change the scale of the texture. So if I set this to 10, which way will it go? 10, 10, yes. Uh, maybe 10 to that as well. Is this the right way? Yes, it is. And we've got a much nicer looking texture on there. But now we also have to work it out for the main gate is going to be hard because it's not a very easy shaped UV unwrap. So we're going to have to be doing do some, quite a lot of tweaking to this. So we've got this here and we can 
select this edge loop under here with control E and mark the seam and we can go over to the image editor which is metal and if I just unwrap it now what do we get it could have been worse actually but I think we might try follow active ports no that definitely doesn't work maybe unwrap will just do for now let's give this a render and see what it looks like I don't think so. Uh, I think I might just have the problem of it not being scaled properly. So let's scale it up somewhat. No, that's the wrong way. Scale it down. And that's looking quite a lot nicer. So go into camera view and give it a quick render. And there it's finished rendering and that's looking really quite nice. We've got this these problems with the edge the edges of the materials, of the textures, sorry, because it's not a seamless texture, they don't match up properly. But you could, um, if you want to change that, you could get a seamless texture or continue fiddling around with the settings a lot more till you get it right. But I'm just not going to do that now. I'm just going to do the last thing and unwrap the. Um, chevrons. This, these should unwrap fairly easily. It's just a matter of clicking unwrap. And let's see how they look when rendered. Yeah, they're just as good. And that works quite easily and simply. Now, next time, we're going to be just finally finishing off the texturing by putting in all the detailing on the uh, on the rings and the uh, detailing on the light and stuff. So I hope to see you there. Until then, please like and subscribe on YouTube. You can also like on Facebook at Fujitsu Hider 3D. Also, you can post your stuff on my Facebook page, so you can uh, I can see what you've done with this tutorial. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next part. Bye.